If you ever purchased a Broadway limited blue line edition locomotive like I did here a few years back, I uh, bought it at a train show. They wanted about $95 for it. I think I paid $80 for it. And you're having problems with it. You're going to want to see this video right here. I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. I got a comment from Clarence Davis. He said, Hi Tom, can you help me with a problem? I have a BLI engine. I try to program it, and now all I get is sound. It won't move. I get all the sound functions, but nothing moves. Can you help me? By the way, your videos are very helpful. Well, Clarence, I think you might have one of the blue line editions of the BLI locomotives. Uh, I haven't heard back from you so I can't say for sure but I had the same problem with one of mine and I'll go through this right here telling you how to resolve that problem. If it is the blue line then this is what your issue is. And I hope it helps. They came with a sound decoder, but they did not come with a DCC decoder in there, and that's where the problem started. And they came out with a bunch of instructions that were not very helpful, because even on the right here, it said DC programming note. This must be programmed in operations mode, and all that blah, 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 blah. And then they gave attention DCC users another thing with blah 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 and then the thing about the uh, the pin on there and even on their website they had instructions on how to program it and they they failed on that and here's the instruction sheet on it or the the uh, parts breakdown on it and you can see that the uh, sound decoder is right there, number 91, but they got numbers on it, but no legend. So <laughs> I guess uh, you had to go online to, to see uh, what all these were. Okay, but anyway, now I, I got this one. I got the 282 B&O 4515. DC sound, DC sound, DCC ready HO. Now, luckily the previous owner put a decoder in it, but I had some issues with it. I wanted to change how the uh, the motor settings were on there. So I had problems when I, when I first used it. So I had to look it up and this is about three years ago. And there were so many different ways that I found Joe Fugate had a way I went on model railroad magazine forum and there was a long article on there of Broadway limited blue line multi decoder programming and this was written by Jim J Witten in March of 2009 so this is a pretty old post on here but it's still relevant today because a lot of modelers are going back and buying them used at train shows like I did about three years ago he goes through a long process first the good then the bad then the ugly and what I'll do is I'll put a link to this uh, forum post on in the description like I always do and it says so what does it actually take to make a typical DD DCC motor decoder anyway and then it goes on with that ranting about you know it would only cost uh, BLI another twenty dollars to put the decoder in there okay and then you know a lot, bunch of history and then finally he comes down with a solution to it and basically what it is 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 going into ops mode programming the one decoder and then going into direct mode and programming the other decoder now he referenced joe fugate's article in here somewhere now this is from modeltrainsvideo.com now in this article Joe Fugate talks about NMRA's solution to it setting uh, CV16 and 15 which is uh, determined not to be such a great idea if you're wanting to use consists. So he went on with another article beyond that talking about how to program it with the four digit uh, address 
and also the two digit address to get over that. But that's still a little bit of complicated for most modelers. Although there's many ways to program the two decoders in the locomotive, it was brought up in here somewhere, but I can't find it right now, to, to remove the decoder and put it in a spare locomotive. Th this seems to be the easiest way to do it for the majority of modelers who are not that good at programming with DCC. Now, if you're good at programming with DCC, you can always go and do it in direct mode and paged mode and read this article and see how it's done. You're not gonna find the instructions in the Broadway Limited web page. They tell you to go back and put it into 03 and work it like that. So this is the only place you're gonna find a good solution is in this forum thread right here. And I'm gonna take you over to the train room where I have my locomotive and I, and I pop the back of the tent, I pop the top of the tender off. I pop the top of the tender off. That's kind of hard to say. I'd say that three times. But anyway, You'll see when we get over there, but I got the decoder, you know, out there and I'm going to get a spare locomotive and show you how to do it. Here's the decoder in the tender of this one here. And all we have to do is just pop it out. Let me cut the power off and we'll just pull this out. And all we have to do is put this in the shade that I have. But anyway, that's all you got to do is pop it out and then just pop it into the other locomotive. And we'll just take this off the track. Let me move this up. And all we have to do is make sure number one is over there and orange number one here. And we just pop it in like that. Okay. And that's it. Then we start to program it. Now, as you can see, I have it Plugged in is 45.15. Let me put the power on. Okay. You can see the light came on. Let me turn the light off so you can see that it... Okay, light off, light on. Okay. Now, let's run this... Now, since it's a Shea, it's going to be... Yeah, we've got to turn it up a little bit higher. <laughs> okay. Because it was programmed for a road switcher. So, you can see that it's, it's moving. I'll reverse it. And it'll run... And forward now. Okay, I'll turn it down. All right, now what I want to do, they originally set this thing up and they were good enough to give me all the information on it with the decoder manual. And they set CV3 to 10 and CV4 to 5. And I'm going to keep it there. But I just want to make sure it's there. And the only problem with the DB150, you can't read back. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to program for 4515. And I'm going to put in CV3 as 10. So let me move this back a little bit. I'll hit... Now that's the only locomotive on the track, so I'll hit the program. Program. I don't want address. Okay, we're going to do CV number three, and we're going to do it for 10. So we'll just set it up right there. CV three, CV number three, equal 10. We'll hit enter. Good. Okay, we're going to go to CV4 and go to number 5. Okay. Hit enter. Good. All right. Now we'll hit exit. All right. 
we're all set. Now, turn the power back onto the track. We got power on the track. And there we go with 45.15. It's moving that way. We'll put it in reverse. Now it's going to go slow because it's a Shea. I got it up to speed 28 and let me see 40. That'll give you a little bit more speed on there. Okay, so now we're going to take it off of here and we're going to put it back in the locomotive. So let me cut the power off to it. see if the, the brakes work on this thing here yeah okay but it stops kind of quick on there so I might have to set it some more but anyway you get the idea of how this thing works the, the easiest way for me was just to pop this uh, decoder out put it in another locomotive program it that way but anyway I put notes down in here when I first did it that if you want to do the sound decoder you put it in direct mode and if you want to do the motor decoder you put it in page mode you could do it that way but I found it easier just to pop the thing out because it on this on the uh, Broadway limited there's no screws on here it just pops out on my uh, Bachman Shea there's one screw on there to top, pop the, the uh, top of the tender off to get the decoder it's a lot easier than trying to do it in page mode and direct mode that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I like the horn whistle. Well, I hope that helped you out, Clarence, and anybody else that bought the Broadway Limited Blue Line Edition years ago or bought it from a train show or off of eBay recently and had issues with it. I hope that uh, resolved it. If you like what you see and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell, and that'll notify you whenever I have a new video coming up. So, we'll see you. Scoot over like this. Mm -hmm.